What's up, my fabulous love bug goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to her kitchen. I'm about to cook up a storm. Tender, crisp, and juicy garlic, honey, salmon, and buttery shrimp. In your kitchen, fast, easy, and simple. You've asked, and the girl is always here to deliver. Fish recipe you want, fish recipe you get. Now, if you're here watching me cooking this salmon and shrimp recipe with the honey and garlic buttery sauce, be sure that you have subscribed. If you're not already subscribed, feel free to do so. Then turn on the post notification settings to be aware of whenever your girl upload a brand new video. Now, let's jump right into the recipe. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. Rest of our eye, eye. Why you turn your back on your brother when him need ya? You don't know, remember the days I'm when him feed ya. You don't know, when no obligation but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him one to get turn your back on your brother when Okay, love bugs, let's jump right into the salmon recipe now i have my salmon there that has already been nicely washed you could use any part any part of the salmon you want to use you go ahead and use that you could even fillet it's really good with fillet less bones but make sure that you wash it with lemon juice salt and vinegar and let it just sit into that liquid for a few minutes and wash really nice soak up right now i am using some jumbo shrimp for the recipe and you can use whatever kind of shrimp you want to use but make sure that you devange your shrimp before you even attempt to cook it wash it the same way salt vinegar and lemon juice and rinse it off really good and your fish is ready to be seasoned now to get started i always use black pepper and salt salt and black pepper first and far most go ahead and i'm going to season both sides of the fish as I go along right if you don't want to do it like this you could always go in and put it into a little container out of the season that you're going to use for the fish and just mix all everything together but I kind of like to take my time and work my way through the process honey cuz it's gonna be good at the end so what I'm doing here I'm adding some fish season and all-purpose season fish season and all-purpose season yes goody if you don't want to use fish you can use seafood obey season what Whatever you like but that is my season of choice right here make it your own boo make it your own mm -hmm. then I do the same thing and season on both sides both sides thoroughly because at the end of the day me want to make sure some my fish have season me not just put salt and black pepper on my fish no mm -mm. me not put salt and black pepper alone for my fish nope it got to be seasoned thoroughly thoroughly then I set it aside now for the shrimp I'm going to add the same almost the same thing a little bit different black pepper and salt of course because it has to have a flavor the salt is going to give it that unique look at your taste mm -hmm. now to the shrimp I'm going to add garlic powder and onion powder because we are going to attempt to make this shrimp stand out all by itself so we add that i'm going to add my fish season but then once again you could use obey season whatever you like seafood season but make sure you say have some kind of seafood season i'm going to add paprika to it for the color i need that color for my shrimp so i add that now i'm using dried parsley here if you have fresh parsley make sure you chop it up fine 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 for the recipe right and you're going to see why later on so we go ahead and we get that a nice little mix. The last little spin, the last little twirl. I will sit it aside. Get it, sit it aside before we do anything else. Make sure that your shrimp is seasoned thoroughly. Now, going to get started, I am using coconut oil to fry this fish because that coconut oil is going to give me the perfect outer layer crispiness and juiciness that I need to cook this salmon. So, I am using coconut oil only to cook this fish, right? I went ahead and placed it in my pot at about 350 degrees of heat coming on while for burn this thing that means it's below medium heat right that's all 
I let it fry for about three minutes on that side and then another three minutes on the other side so medium heat and a total of about six minutes it does get the color from the spices where you put pan the fish right after we get done doing that total of six minutes we cover it up nice and tight but turn the heat off no do not mess with it good it just turn the heat off now in another part I went ahead and added some more coconut oil and two tablespoons of salted butter if you have unsalted butter use that but to make the sauce I like to use salted butter for this you could use margarine too right lots and lots of garlic the more garlic the better this sauce is going to taste right make sure you have enough garlic goodie for this thing right mm -hmm. garlic and butter now I went ahead and, and I added my shrimp and my shrimp is going to be cooked for a total of four minutes only here four minutes and nothing less because we are tempted to have nice moist tasty juicy shrimp for this um fish right we want to make sure that we do that now we are going to take them off the off of the fire and we're going to put it into a container because we don't want to leave it sitting into the pot because it's going to continue to cook and, you, and your shrimp all get rubbery so it's very very important to cook these shrimp the steps that I'm telling you so you want to cook it four minutes total like this with all the garlic and that salted butter and the coconut oil just like that for four minutes and you take them up and sit them in a container separately and make them go and chill out right there so right and there's a reason why we are doing that because we want to make sure that we don't have rubbery shrimp to finish off with dish it's going to taste so good with that uh, garlic so slowly cook for that four minutes it is going to be done with the fish but just make sure that you follow the steps right here it is so important because we don't need top shrimp on the pan the fish right no goody now in that same pot that you use to cook them shrimp you're going to go ahead and add some more butter and some more coconut oil right this as a combination go ahead and add some more garlic as well because remember you are making buttery garlic honey nice simmered shimmered fish mm -hmm. and shrimp oh my mouth of water it just think about the tingly now now moving right along in that same pot i added my butter my coconut oil and my garlic lots of garlic then i added some apple cider vinegar one teaspoon to be exact i added about two tablespoons of the soy sauce make sure you go easy with that soy sauce because it does have salt content in it you know what but you think to be over salty to that i had it tons honey tons we never know how much um much honey me put in the thing but me put tons of honey in there then I had it a tad bit of black pepper and a pinch of salt right just a pinch because the soy sauce like I said have salt in it now I went in and I added my paprika my paprika is going to combine everything together to have the best tasting sauce to go over that salmon now I did allow it to cook for two minutes until the texture started to come together a tad bit two minutes was good I didn't want to overcook it because I don't want it to come pacey and all that two minutes was good because I'm gonna put it all over my potato then I went in and added my shrimp that yummy yummy good up good up stuff into that mixture now here 
is where the trick comes in. You don't want to overcook that thing because remember you had cooked it for four minutes earlier. So two minutes is all you need. Sprinkle some more parsley, fresh parsley, and you're good to go. Now, if you're still here watching me, make sure that you have subscribed to the channel and turn your post notification settings on to be reminded every time I upload brand new videos. I always have great recipes here and they're always fast, easy, and simple. And I'm always delicious, right? While you're doing that, goodie, why not go ahead and subscribe to my second channel, Life as Juliana. It's always inspirational videos on over there. And Dollar Tree DIY, whatever comes to mind, I do it there. There also will be no more vegan recipes here, so they will be over there. So go ahead, vegan goodies, and subscribe to my channel over there. I am waiting. Show your girl some love, all right? I saw the thing set. Now, to complete this recipe, I went ahead and threw some Irish potato into the microwave because, of course, you girl always make everything fast, easy, and simple, right? But I mean another long, long thing. No, fast, easy, and simple. I did go in and add some salted butter here. Then I added some mayo, right? Come on, it's in creamy. Then I went in and added some heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream to it. Yes, boo. I mash it up. Mash it up, mix it up, blend it up, yeah, make it soft and creamy. You can add anything you want to add, but this is what I chose to do with this particular potato right here. So you can't put anything else. I make my potatoes all kinds of way. Whatever mood I'm in, that's how I make it. But this is my mood today, goodie. Yes, honey. So after I got done doing that, it was time to put this thing upon the plate. You see what I mean about that fish? And after I got done doing that. I spread that juicy, delicious, gummy, delicious, flavorful of shrimp, honey, that butter, honey, garlic, and that juice that it was smelling good and it was uh, flavoring up this plate. The thing is massive. Let me tell you, this is a, one of those recipes that you must try. I just garnish it with a little bit of skin and doesn't make it pretty. You know what I mean? I say? But anyway, this is one of those recipes that you have to try. Good to be tell you, you know, is a one, you know, this is a recipe that you have to try for impress who you want for impress i saw the thing set right there so now go to make sure that you have subscribed share my recipes with friends and family spread the news and tell them what's going on over here no tell me what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen man and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time to eat. So see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.